everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina. Today we're going to be making a card using the six-sided sampler stamp set along with the coordinating punch and the gorgeous grunge stamp set. I went ahead and stamped one of my images onto my stamp -a jig and I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that's cut to three and three-quarter by five and I have it sort of lined up here on my grid mat and we're going to go ahead and stamp our first image here. Just want to, I'm lining it up on my grid mat just so I can make sure that my image is straight. I'm going to slide that out of the way. I'm going to ink up my stamp. And I'm using So Saffron for my stamp color, or my ink color rather. And then I'm going to stamp another one of these right above. And then we'll stamp one right in between those two. Just like that. And that'll be pretty much it I'm gonna do with the the punch or the that stamp. I'm gonna take smoky slate and from the gorgeous grunge stamp set we have this really cool like spattered paint look. So I am going to be inking this up and I have a piece of scrap paper on the side. I'm going to stamp it off and then I'll stamp it onto my background here. And I'm going right over those so saffron images. So I have the other one which is more of a larger spatter and I'm using the So Saffron with this as well. And I'm just going to stamp this in a couple places. On my background. Alright. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take the Smoky Slate And then I have another one of the images from the six-sided sampler. Mount that to my block. I'm going to take a piece of scrap and I'm going to stamp out the little stitched outline of that image. And then I have my sentiment which says, thanks much. I'll use So Saffron. And I'm going to stamp that right in the center of that stitched one. I'm going to slide this to the side. I have my hexagon punch. I'm just going to punch this out, but then I'm going to take a piece of smoky slate cardstock and punch it again. And then for my stamped image, my sentiment, I'm actually going to go ahead and trim this down so it's a little bit smaller. And then I'll use my smoky slate piece as my border. Alright, so I'm going to take the thanks much and stick that with a little bit of tumble mono. And that's going to go on to my piece of smoky slate that I punched out with the punch. And now it has a little matte piece to the thanks much. I'm going to grab my dimensionals and I have a piece of linen thread that I kind of just wrapped in a circle. I wrapped actually into a bow shape. And that is going to go behind my hexagon. So let me just make sure I'm going to make sure the thanks much is here. And I'm going to take my twine and just stick it in between the two pieces of foam. I'm going to grab a little tumbo just to make sure that's stuck down there good. And then we'll just go ahead and put that right there. 
So I have a piece of smoky slate cardstock that is cut an eighth of an inch larger than my Whisper White. I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere that down. I'm using my Tombow Mono because I ran out of my snail adhesive, so I'm just using this until I get some more. And then this will get some dimensionals and I'll pop that onto the front of a Whisper White cardstock, which is also an A2 size card. So I added my dimensionals to the back of my smoky slate. I'm gonna go ahead and mount this to the front of my card. And like I said, this is a standard A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm gonna trim off some of these um, extra pieces on my linen thread. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is add some rhinestones to this. So I'm just adding a couple of rhinestones to the front of my card. I'm probably just gonna add maybe three of them. And that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's card. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.